Alright, so this is annoying, um, because he's blocked me, so it's not really a reply to him, but Mr. Rocking E evidently made a video, um, a Bjork, uh, probably mispronouncing that, um, sent me a video of Mr. Rocking E, for any of you familiar with him, or the video I made him a while ago that he blocked me, uh, before it got uploaded, or while it was uploading. He's made a video mentioning me, and with a link to the, to the reply I made to him, and, you know, he's talking about how I'm a postmodernist trying to deny science. I'm not denying science. You, you're you in denial, period. You're in denial of reality. I'm not denying science. I didn't deny science at all in there. Quite the opposite. I'm pointing out what happened in science. You know, the history of science. And you clearly don't know, Mr. E., that uh, the idea of an object in reality is an Aristotelian theory about what reality is like. It's not all material theories about what the real stuff is do not have to be objects where things have properties. Because we found that, oh, well, velocity should be one of those properties. Nope, color, nope. These are all properties of relationships. And, and the point is that postmodern philosophy really is any philosophy taking into account the changes in science from the classical model to the standard model and to relativity. You know, those are the postmodern facts that have to be taken into account. Now, if you t want to take your lead of what that means from some, like, literature professor that thinks e equals mc squared is a penis or whatever, like these weird examples they come up with, um, that that's one thing but I'm saying go to the science and you know show that you understand what logic is about when it's talking about objects what you know about classification what what you've learned about uh, determinability in mathematics and uh, from Gödel and Russell and so on and uh, what you've learned in physics from Bohr, etc., and Einstein, you know, and see if you could take these into account. I mean, I don't think they even understand. Now, the funny thing to me is that I think objectivism is a postmodern philosophy. Why? Because it takes into account this supermodern latest physics that we're dealing with. And it semi rejects it. And it's like, we're all about science, but that's just nonsense. And so what it does is it tries to mix the old classical model with romanticism. Now, the classical model itself is rational and, and scientific and empirical. So it's, it has to move on. It realizes its own uh, faults. You know, there, there were faults and enigmas that got explained. And so, of course, as science, the classical model moves on into the standard model and becomes it. But what they do is they take the old, a copy of the old classical, they try to invigorate it by, with romanticism, have a romantic view of it, <laughs> which does, which me which separates it from empiricism so that it just can be romanticized as good in itself because of its character. <laughs> oh my God. And so it is a postmodern philosophy because what it, what it does is it says, well, look, instead of figuring out concepts that make sense of the new this new world will deal with the new information by denying it uh, using romanticism to drag us into the past and will romanticize objectivity in science so we'll be going yay objectivity and yay science and yay rationality so of course we're for it why would we go yay to something if we're not for it it doesn't it would make sense <laughs> Uh, and it's like there's no real evidence you watched my video uh, at all and uh, you know it's just such a funny thing you see online this wishful thinking of you know he's just he's willing to just assume that I'm trying to discredit science when in reality you know he doesn't know science from his ass in the ground obviously uh, anyway oh that was four minutes too long on that dude but, uh, I mean, I, I'd feel differently if he was going to answer, but some guy blocks you and then answers you. It's like, hmm. Anyway.